guys, it's Talia again, and I'm here with Victoria, my lovely sister-in-law, <laughs> and her lovely sister-in-law, Shana. And um, we all live under 300 square feet, um, and we are no way trying to sell anyone on the topic, but we do get asked a lot about living in our small spaces, and so we thought it would be fun to kind of go through a pro and con list about living small. So um, I'm in just under 300 square feet with a family of four, two kids and a husband, and then Victoria and her husband. Husband Jake are in a mother-in-law suite um, of 180 square 170 feet, 170 square feet, 170 square feet, and um, and they rent out their main house, and um, they actually bring in the income from that. It's so neat. And then Shayna and her husband Isaac have renovated a van, and they actually live in it. It's awesome. So it's like 50 square feet. <laughs> it's amazing. And too, always, too few square feet. Too yeah. few. <laughs> you always joke about being homeless, but your home goes yes. wherever you are. You can always joke that we live on like. A million acres. Exactly. So <laughs> everywhere we go is our home. Start yeah. with cons. I feel like get all okay. the negative stuff out at the That's beginning. That's true. We'll that is good. Like dump it. Yours is certainly the bathroom situation. Oh yeah. Yeah. The, I there's a lack of it. Currently, haven't showered in four days. <laughs> <laughs> but you look Which amazing. Was the last time we were together too. <laughs> The shower situation is horrible. Do you find yourself like running through sprinklers just as like, <laughs> <laughs> like a no? I'm not process. that desperate yet. The fact that my sleeping situation is where people live a lot of the times and, like, they feel fine and comfortable to, like, have arguments on the phone in front of their house <laughs> while I'm trying to sleep in my car, not knowing that someone's sleeping in their car. Yeah. I'm like, I'll be up till, like, 10 and 11 listening to this guy argue with Becky because she's <laughs> such a jerk for doing X, Y, and Z. It's just like, oh my god, you guys can make up. <laughs> Let me get see. over yourself, yeah. Becky. Yeah. It stressed me out and made me sad. I yeah. remember you saying I that because so it felt stressed. like they were invading your space. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It was so like, This upsetting. is my sanctuary. Yeah. You are yelling in it. <laughs> Stop. Yes. This is my living room. <laughs> and you're in it. <laughs> you know, I'd rather hear complaints about that, though, as a lack of privacy than between you and Isaac. There is no hiding yeah. and for some people that's really scary mm -hmm. you're really like raw to the mm -hmm. other person and that's made us so close in some ways but also like he's seen all the ugly and he has really stinky farts so <laughs> that's really well, that's, gross <laughs> so yeah. all the emotion plus his farts is gross <laughs> So there's a few gross parts in there. Yeah. I love it. And then what about uh, you and Jake? I mean, the kitchen, I know, is a huge um, downside. Yeah, the kitchen's definitely a <laughs> yes. downside. Because um, we just eat out more. So yeah. I definitely, it just, I don't know, definitely gained some weight. <laughs> it's easier to feel groggy because I'm not eating, like, fresh foods right. like I used to. Um, and another downside, like, with the bathroom being so close uh, <laughs> I'm eating a bowl of fruit in bed and it just smells like poop. <laughs> it's not the most appetizing. It's so foul. It's so gross because it's like right there. It's like five feet from the bed to the toilet. So I'm just like, thanks, babe. But there's there is no other options. And luckily we have a toilet. Yeah. yeah. I was gonna say I pee on the curb and I six mad <laughs> because he stepped in my pee. <laughs> It's so gross. I'm so oh, sorry, so <laughs> I had to. I peed in our living room. Don't be mad. <laughs> AKA Becky's front yard. Yes. <laughs> oh. I think for us, the biggest shock and the biggest bummer, um, and something people don't quite realize, I think it was the financial cost that it takes to move into a, quote, like, economically friendly, yes. uh, financially saving situation. Like, it's not like you can just, like, oh, yeah, I'm out of money, so I'm just going to move in a smaller place that yeah. makes more sense. It take, it took for us at least quite a bit of capital to be able to move. So when you're living in a trailer and you just had to spend a lot of money on the trailer and on moving and mm -hmm. on getting all set up, you're like, I'm living in a couple, uh, even a month will go by and you'll forget like that it's only been a month and you're like, I've been living in here forever and I'm not rich. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not rolling in yes, piles of money. Time. The trailer has just now paid for itself. Right. Um, in, That's amazing. Yeah, with not having to pay rent 
it's just paid for itself. So we're like, yay. So now everything that we bring in every month feels like it's finally totally. adding. Whereas in the past, I mean, we've been living with Taylor for a couple months now and we're yeah. like, oh, we're still in the red from where we were a couple months ago yeah. and we were living in a nicer, bigger place. So that's kind of a hard hit and something you kind of need to be realistic about before downsizing is just yeah. the actual act of downsizing costs money and you're going to feel like you're bleeding money for a little bit. And yeah. you're like, this is contrary to everything I'm trying to do. Yeah. I'm spending money. But you just have to keep the long term in mind and be committed to it. And you guys experienced that too in your van because you yeah. renovated it. Yes. Well, we renovated it. So the whole project, our van, was $10,000 total. And when we, our first place. Which is which amazingly was, low because you yeah, did it yourself yeah. and you're amazing. So. Which we were, we were actually unhappy with that, which is funny. <laughs> we were like, oh my gosh, that's so expensive. <laughs> and I feel like also part of it is knowing your goals. Yeah. Like, so don't know we haven't saved ten thousand dollars in a year necessarily but we had this huge dream of wanting to take a month off to backpack yes and so like and that we did was, that mm, so yeah, awesome. we did it so that's enough with the negatives <laughs> we're like all little dark rain clouds yeah. but i think it's good it, and there's other negatives of course but those just seem to be kind yeah. of like the over glaring ones. glaring ones yeah what would be on the pro list of our living situations we are all debt free yeah. <laughs> I got a tattoo because I love being debt free so yeah. much. So. Do you, is it in a place we can. Um... I, I, it's on my leg. I'd oh, have to take okay. off my pants. No. <laughs> we get a lot of views, I think. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually the most dramatic tattoo on my body. It says that I'd rather be burned than be like. <laughs> which yes. is a Sufjan Stevens, yes. which I love. Sufjan, yes. so. You do? I do. I love Sufjan. Oh and every time we feel discouraged, like, oh, we're not ahead enough in life, I'm like. We're not behind. No. No, we bought our van cash. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, we own our van. We aren't paying payments on that, and we renovated it cash, and mm -hmm. we still have three thousand dollars in the bank. Woo! Account. That's enough to party. <laughs> I'm very open about numbers, which is probably a little bit inappropriate, but no. I love like no, I like the knowing. Real numbers, I know. So. I tell people all the time before they even ask. Go, I paid nine grand for the yeah. trailer. I paid nine thousand dollars. Yeah, That's amazing. and we could sell it for probably ninety five. Hopefully, if yeah. the kids don't wreck it too yeah. much. Yeah, for us. We've had so much more freedom to like do things like the oh, JMT. Yeah. So having so much more fun. We're camping mm -hmm. all the time. We're backpacking. We're rock climbing now, <laughs> which is so fun. So. so you're still spending money, but you're able to do it in such a way that's so much more fulfilling yes. than just throwing it at somebody who owns the house that mm -hmm. you're staying in, which hurts. Yes. So that's awesome. Yeah. I, I actually really like the fact that we were able to downsize. So... When we moved into the cottage, we moved from our house, which I thought was really small at the time, with cupboards full of stuff, we had a desk full of stuff, and a shed full of stuff. We just got rid of everything, and now everything that we own and that we have is in our little tiny room. You guys are and true minimalists. It's really yeah. good to, like, it just feels so manageable and small, because we you want, can fix we were, things that break. Yes, mm -hmm. and it's just, like, yeah. you, everything that you have, you know, is, like, quality and important to you, and you it care just, about it. it feels yeah. really good to mm -hmm. have everything that you own in just that little tiny space, so. Yes. I love that. Your things actually think, make you happy, which yeah. is funny, because minimalism isn't really supposed to be, like, your things make yeah. you happy, but it's a byproduct but of it. it. it is, yeah. sure. When I have my backpack, I know the things in my backpack. Yes. And you cherish it. Yes. Yes. I love everything in here. Yes. Yeah. It's so stupid. It's yeah. the opposite of what minimalism is. No, it, no, it's true, though. Like, I used to have a bunch of purses and yeah. backpacks and shoes, and now it's like, I have the ones that I The ones love that you so saved much. up for a couple months yeah. to get. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so that, for me, is a huge pro. And now we're so free to... Pack up and just go and travel and do whatever we want to do. And it mm -hmm. feels so good. So. I honestly love that that's your pro too because I have that as a pro as well. And so many people would view that as a con because, oh, you have to give up all your stuff. Yes. And and yeah. the mentality that you guys had is so great because in moving into a small space, a lot of people go in with the thought of how can I – stuff this place to the, you know, absolute yes. breaking point. How much can I fit in here? And when you change your perspective to how little can I live without, it not only feels cleaner and more open, but you feel so happy and satisfied with what you so have. So satisfied and content. You realize you have so much stuff, and it changes the way you you purchase things because you don't as often yes. and it just is yeah. so freeing so you really end up saving a lot of money too and, time. and uh -huh. oh so much time I'm not yes. worried and stressed about 
dealing with things and especially with kids not having all this toys with a million pieces and it's just so yeah. nice dude those million piece toys <laughs> I would say for me the biggest pro is that I love what it says to our kids like um we have a five-year-old and a two-year-old what they're going to remember hopefully <laughs> about yeah. this time in our lives is that what is most important is our family and spending time together and um, we have money to help others and we yeah. have money to go do fun things and that we're not stressed and worried about it because mm -hmm. I was raised in a household where we were always like oh we can't afford shoes like make it last and I really felt that burden growing up and so having my kids not worry about finances mm -hmm. and it's just not even a discussion that comes up it's just like oh if we want to go do something we can if we want to help these people we can yeah. um, and just being so free I hope that they grow up with that being the norm and that being their comfort zone because sure. so many people are comfortable with being in debt and hopefully they're gonna be raised um with that uh mentality of like less is more you mm -hmm. know and yeah. that they're not going to need or require so much to be happy um and maybe not maybe it's gonna backfire and they're gonna be total <laughs> stuff people like I need everything <laughs> I was deprived as a kid I I do like that they're not um raised with like they grew up in a 5,000 square foot home and that's what they're going to need mm -hmm. in life in order to be happy and to mm -hmm. feel comfortable and to feel at home. So, yeah. Um, so yeah, so that's what I like. But, but yeah, there's so many other pros and cons. So if you guys have more questions about um, specifics, we would love to do more videos and um, I'll just go and volunteer you guys now. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you guys, if there's anything specific you want to see, we'd love to talk about it um, because as much as it's normal to us because we all hang out and we're friends, <laughs> it's really not super common and not normal. Mm -hmm. um, in, you know, other sections and just in the general public. So, um, so yeah, so let us know and thanks so much for watching. Mm -hmm. Any yeah. closing thoughts before I we? I don't know. I feel like we could probably talk about this forever. Oh, I, I could. could. I day. know. I'm like, wait. Like 24 on. minutes of footage. Oh, oh, we do. Yeah. I, I just want, like, feel like we could talk about pros and cons all day long. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Like it's maybe we just a, need the light of fire tonight, two. get some and wine, so and funny just chit chat it out. So. Get our feelings out. Let's wax eloquent on this, guys. Yeah. But it's funny because we all agree wholeheartedly with each other. Yeah. Just like, yes. yes. Preach it. Girl. Preach, Preach it. Girl. Like, I feel you. We're each other, egging each other on. Say it, girl. Yeah. Say it again. Yeah, I wish I said it, but you said it yeah. really good. And cut.